In the arsenal of the U.S. Army, one aircraft stands as the embodiment of precision, power, and resilience, the AH-64 Apache attack helicopter. Do you know why this formidable machine has earned its reputation as one of the most iconic and effective military assets in history? Developed with a legacy of excellence, the Apache has demonstrated its prowess across diverse theaters, from the Middle East to Central Asia and Africa, with a proven track record against a spectrum of adversaries, from guerrillas to main battle tanks. The Apache has solidified its status as the most successful attack helicopter of all time, continually evolving through a series of strategic upgrades. The AH-64 Apache is synonymous with versatility and lethality. Its continual upgrades have made it a force to be reckoned with, adapting to evolving threats on the battlefield. Let's delve into the historical evolution of the Apache. In the late 1960s, the U.S. Army introduced the AH-1 Cobra, the first attack helicopter. However, limitations in payload, altitude, and redundancy prompted the need for a new purpose-built attack helicopter. The Army's strategic shift towards defending Western Europe from the Soviet Union led to the conception of the AH-64 Apache in the 1970s. With a focus on countering massed Soviet tank attacks, the Apache was designed to be a flying tank killer, equipped with the ability to engage targets from a safe distance. The Apache was a game changer. It wasn't just about firepower, it was about survivability. Armored cabins, redundancy in engines, and advanced targeting systems made it a formidable asset in the face of evolving threats. Selected as the winner of the Army's Advanced Attack Helicopter Program in 1976, the AH-64 Apache officially entered service in 1985. With its distinct insectoid appearance and powered by two GE T-700 turboshaft engines, the Apache set a new standard for attack helicopters. The Apache's crowning achievement was its ability to unleash the AGM-1114 Hellfire missile, a game-changing laser-guided anti-tank missile with an extended range. The Apache's capacity to carry up to 16 Hellfires provided unparalleled strategic advantage on the battlefield. The Hellfire missile was the Apache's killer app. It revolutionized the helicopter's role as a tank sniper, allowing it to decimate armored targets from a safe distance. The Apache's combat record speaks volumes. From its baptism of fire in the 1989 invasion of Panama, to its pivotal role in the liberation of Kuwait in 1991, and its deployment in the post-9-11 era, the Apache has consistently proven its mettle. In Afghanistan and Iraq, the Apache's close air support capabilities, convoy protection, and electro-optical sensors have made it an indispensable asset in low-intensity conflicts. The Apache's adaptability across different conflict scenarios showcases its relevance and effectiveness. Its combat record is a testament to its role as a force multiplier. Looking towards the future, the AH-64 Apache is set to continue its legacy well into the 2040s. The latest iteration, the AH-64E Apache Guardian, incorporates cutting-edge technologies, including advanced targeting systems and the ability to control drones. The integration of drones into Apache units enhances situational awareness and reduces risks for helicopter crews, marking a new era in modern warfare. The Apache's adaptability and continuous upgrades position it as a formidable asset for the future battlefield. Its integration with drones is a strategic leap forward in military aviation. In conclusion, the AH-64 Apache isn't just a helicopter. It's a symbol of innovation, adaptability, and unparalleled effectiveness. Its legacy is etched in history, setting the bar for attack helicopters worldwide. As the U.S. Army continues to evolve, the Apache stands as a testament to the enduring spirit of excellence in military aviation.